Hi everyone. So in this lecture we will discuss about J unit five test instance life cycle. So friends, J unit five provides at the rate test instance annotation. So this annotation basically changes the life cycle behavior of a test class. Now in this at the rate test instance annotation, it has a mode property. So this annotation has two modes. So the first mode is at the rate test instance life cycle per method. So here what happens if at the rate test instance is not declared on test class, the life cycle mode will implicitly default to per method. So what do we mean by life cycle per method? Is that in this mode J unit creates new instance of test class before executing each test method. So friend, let's suppose we have written a test class and it has three at the rate test methods. So when we execute the class, what happens is J unit creates the instance of this test class for each and every test method. So this behavior is by default. So even if we don't put this at the rate test instance lifecycle per method on the test class, this mode is by default taken by J unit and it creates a new instance of test class before executing each and every test method. The other mode is at the rate test instance lifecycle per class. So friend, in order to use lifecycle per class mode, we need to provide this annotation on the top of test class and what this annotation does is in this mode JUnit creates a new instance of test class only once. So friends here you can see the mode per method means creation of new instance of a test class per at the rate test method and by per class it means the new instance of test class will be created only once. So friends here both the modes have its own significance which we will be discussing in our upcoming lectures. I hope you like this lecture. Thanks. Have a nice day.